Hi, my name is Beth Hiley here for Board Game Geek at Spiel 17. I'm sitting down with Michael Perneman from Grana Games, and you've brought us quite the sailing ship. So I'm actually going to hold the box up since we've got this wonderful, um, so this is the MS Battery. Yes, exactly. You pronounced it very nice. Uh, yeah, it's our new game for this exhibition. We did it with, uh, uh, um, with a cooperation with uh, Emigration Museum in Gdynia. Gdynia is a wow. port uh, where this, because this is original ship, it, uh, it really existed. It was, uh, it was cruising from a Polish port from Gdynia to New York. It, uh, there were some fancy trips, uh, rich people uh, take the cruises to, 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 you know, to New World to, to just, you know, just enjoy. And what is the game about? It's a, it's a deduction game. Uh, we are on the ship, and we here's are, the ship. Yeah, here is the ship. There are three decks on the ship, uh, thirteen per personas, and uh, there's gonna be a mystery to solve because somebody stole uh, the, the jewels of the countess, and uh, each of us is a detective, and we need to find out who actually did it. And uh, so it's a deduction game, uh, who done it game actually. Uh, who finds the thief first wins and uh, actually how do we play. As I told you there are three decks here with dozens of rooms and uh, what will we do uh, in, our, uh, in our actions. At the beginning of the game uh, there are 13 uh, personalities. We will shuffle the deck of the personalities and uh, deal uh, three of them to each uh, of the players or four if you play in three players or five okay, two players sorry. Uh, and one of them will go here and this is the thief and you, okay you so so we'll say so we've got one uh, secret card yes, here exactly mm -hmm. so we got one there's there's our secret card yeah so we don't yep. know if that's our thief we don't yep. know who it is we don't know it, who is it and uh, each of us gets some amount of cards and we for example i got those three and now i know uh that these guys are not the thieves and, uh, so I'm gonna a... I'm gonna put mine out on the top here. So I have the countess, the countess's daughter, and the purser. Yeah, exactly. And then you have a, a screen uh, and a, a kind of an investigation pad. And for example, at the beginning, you can check these three guys that they're not. Oh, so sorry. I'm actually we're gonna check off. Let's check off my three guy. Or will you start checking off your three guys? Yeah, so. yeah. Let's say this, this is this one and this one. So I know these guys are not guilty. And now the deduction starts. How does it exactly look? At the beginning of your round, you get four movement points. Uh, well, you'll be moving around those guys, around the ship, uh, around the locations. Uh, you can go... Uh, you have always four points to spend. Uh, you can go, for example, with uh, four personalities with one point. You can uh, just take one personality and make uh, four moves and uh, whatever. Right. And why do you do it exactly? Because there are... Uh, um, event cards and on each event card uh, there's written uh, what has to be fulfilled to get a question card and for example in this one swimming pool each meeting with a passenger you will give you a question card so I have to move those uh, move those pounds to uh, meet uh, the, the, the requirement so meeting a passenger because uh, each personality has a uh, his own role he's a crew member or a passenger his own gender and his own age, young, middle age or old. So these events will are very easy uh, logical moves to, to, to perform right. and then you get, uh, depending on how many times you fulfill it, you get the question cards. And there are six type of question cards, uh, age, number, deck, uh, oh, sorry. There we go. <laughs> Somewhere. Oh, oh, there we here. go. Yeah. There are six types of them, and for Gender. fulfilling uh, each of the events, you get this kind of uh, cards. And, and yes, exactly, six one, six. One. Let's let's say I fulfilled the quest for three times, so I got uh, three cards. Uh, there are always three cards displayed. You can pick one of them, and you can also pick one from the deck uh, which you so don't you have some see. Choices. So yes. You could choose to not pick the same one you already have. Uh, exactly, exactly like this. Why do I exactly want to have them? I uh, want to have them to ask a question because in my round, at the end of the round, because first thing you move the pounds, second thing you pick up the cards, and the first, the third thing is that you ask a question, one question to a specific player. And I'm guessing it has to be a question based on yes, a card you exactly. have. <laughs> so let's say I have these three cards, deck and age and number, and I have to pick uh, at least one of them and make some kind of a question out of them, a combo question. So for example, if I would take deck card and age card, I can ask you, do you have any old uh, people on the on the sun deck and then you have to answer me uh, yes or no because the questions are always closed yes or no questions I was gonna say and we've got a nice cheat sheet on the back yeah. of our uh, shield here so yes. you kind of know the age and yeah gender of exactly and you have also this on the on the notepad and um, yeah and 
I ask a question, do you have an old person on the sun deck? And if you say yes, uh, then I just yeah, do it like this. I can put some notes here, if it's more <laughs> a twist question. Or simply if I ask, do you have an older person? I can do it like this. You say yes, unless you like Okay, okay so like that's, that's kind of, let's say we can see a yeah. little bit what you wrote. <laughs> very, very technical notes there. That's, that, that's Polish. It's very difficult. It's on the eighth place of the most difficult languages in the world. So it looks like this. Okay, uh, the questions can be very, uh, very easy. Like, uh, do you have an old, old person or do you have a crew member on the promenade deck? But they can also be very, uh, very twisted. Like, for example, do you have more old personas on the promenade deck than young crew members on the sun deck? But it, you have to, you just, just imagine that you can uh, ask whatever question using this and just to have an answer, yes or no. And there is also a card with uh, a number. And with, when you play a card with a number, you, you can ask yeah. how many. Okay, so a card like that. Yeah, so if I would play it like this, I can ask you how many old personas do you have on the promenade deck? Got it. And then you say uh, two. And I say, and I write it two uh, and some notes. And uh, okay, at the end, uh, when you're sure more or less uh, who did it, who, I was who say, stopped. that's what we really want to get to is how do we guess? Yeah, how do we guess? So we guess like this that, uh, you know, I make some notes and during the course of the game, I say, okay, this one not, this one not, this one not. And uh, let's say I'm 50 50. And I, now can I say, okay, I guess. And now I just, you know, do, I do it secretly always after the screen. I do it like this. I secretly check this card. All right, so is it and? and oh, no. You're wrong. Well, what happens? Well, I did not want actually. But if it would be the same person as I, uh, as I checked, uh, I would win. So, yeah, it looks like this more or less. And we wanted to mention too that you don't necessarily have to set up yeah, exactly. the ship. You could just lay the, the, the Yeah, it, it can be, you know, three separated uh, boards if you don't like 3d boards and you're lazy or whatever you can just you know <laughs> who doesn't love a 3d board? I don't Come know. <laughs> <laughs> but just in case you can lay them out on your table if you don't want to be cool <laughs> yeah it, it looks like this it's a it's a whodunit game with uh, yeah with a 3d board with some small twists during the the, the questions yeah and a collaboration with the uh, Immigration Museum. Yes, exactly, because uh, as I told you, it was a real ship. It was cruising the, the museum uh, has its uh, place in Gdynia. It's a Polish seaport. Um, and the, the Batory ship uh, was cruising from, from this city to New York. And it's uh, this uh, Batory thing is a huge part of their exposition in the museum. And, uh, Fantastic. Yeah, it, the, the ship has a great history. Like, you know, it, it served during the war, Second World right War as a um, troop carrier and uh, it served also after the war. It has a very long history. It's also in the rule book. The rule book are only eight pages and there are 20 pages of a oh, history, history brief. Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, like usually in our games. And yeah, so there's a, for history buffs, there'll be some nice add in in this game. Well, if you guys want to check that out, either for the history or for the game, if you love deduction, this is the MS Battery from Grana Games. And Michael, thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.